Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing BitLife again and today I want to make an absolute monster. <laughs> I know we already made Jim Pickens, but this I want to go so much further. I just want to be as scummy as I possibly can be. An absolute psychopath, a murderer, let's just say we're gonna make a bad guy, okay? Name, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, not me. It's, um, Welsh. <laughs> Start Kevin's life. Jesus Christ, either my mom is a gold digger or my dad's a cradle robber because my dad's 59 and she's 29. I really hope it's not more than an 11 year relationship. <laughs> Sexuality straight. I'm age zero. I think it's too early to call. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get an early start here. Ask your brother for money. You're broke. The hell is wrong with you? You're nine years old. When I was nine years old, I had worked in the mines for eight years. <laughs> I said beat the money out of him. Yeah, assault him. You walloped his knuckle. Yeah, take that. <laughs> he attacked you with a beer bottle. He lacerated your knee. Okay, you're nine. Why do you have a beer bottle? <laughs> like, you're still having a blast. 96% <laughs> happiness. Oh god, he is not a smart chap, is he? I'm releasing the cat into the wild. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Good luck out there. <laughs> now my big brother Earl is back to arguing. I assured him it wouldn't happen again. <laughs> it's like, how can you lose the cat? twice if you lost him and you didn't get him back in the first place. I ask your mom for money. Yes, eight pounds. You know your dad has money because your mom is so much younger. Ask for money. Yes, another eight pounds. Take that Earl. You have nothing. <laughs> I'm getting a pet. Hmm, what will I get? A rescue and animal shelter. Let's get this house cat. They refused. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how about a dog instead? Your parents told you to stop asking him to get you a pet. Okay, a job. We'll ask again in a year. You tongue kissed Eliza Crocker. She tasted like butt crack. I'm not even gonna ask you how you know. All right, come on. Give me the dog. Give me the dog. Stop it. Just give him to me. <laughs> I want to free him into the wild. What would a complete lunatic take up as an activity? I a politics club. There you go. God, my brother hates me. Ask him for money. <laughs> Am I strong yet? Could I beat him up? No, I'm still 11. I should probably hold off for a few years, but I'll kill him eventually. I hate that dude. Won't even leave me free animals. <laughs> I'm a pet lover. What can I say? And if you love something, set it free. <laughs> oh my God, my dad died. Jesus. Christ, I'll skip the funeral. I'm busy. Is this a good time to ask your brother for money? Stop saying you've no money. Like, I know you gotta have something. Mom, please. I know you got no major expenses going on right now. Thank you for eight pounds. I'm gonna invest it. <laughs> I'm gonna see a movie with the eight pounds I got. It's my dad's funeral. It's like, guys, I know this is not the best time, but I'm bisexual. <laughs> that made him really unhappy for some reason. <laughs> I guess they didn't take it well at my dad's funeral. All right, I went to the gym or the library and I'm feeling much better about my dad dying. There we go. Now I'm much happier. I have a girlfriend now. Um, have a baby. Wait, she doesn't want to? What the heck? Yes, my mom's paying for my tuition. I'm in university. Can I kill my girlfriend yet? Wait, wait, I'll ask her if she'll have a baby first again, maybe. She doesn't want to. She's so stupid. All right, first thing I gotta deal with my brother, so I'll kill him first. We'll kill him with a drive-by. <laughs> the easiest way I can imagine. You are unable to commit a drive-by murder on your brother. <laughs> Reason, no vehicle. <laughs> he didn't think that out the whole way, did he? Stairway to hell. Yeah, try that. I thought it was gonna pop up. Uh, you were unable to kill your brother by pushing him down the stairs. Reason, you live in a bungalow. <laughs> But no, he died. He died. You've been charged with murder? And are facing 50 years in prison. But the stairs did it. People don't kill people. Stairs do. I can't afford any of this defense. A public defender will not get me out. Okay, I am straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Okay, we're gonna attempt to escape this. Wait, can I just walk out? My god, they did not have a very secure prison for a murderer. Alright, I'm back out and I'm gonna get that girlfriend. <laughs> Wait, actually, I'll ask her, does she want a baby first? Does the fact that I went to prison change your mind? at all. <laughs> damn it, she doesn't want to. Fine, that's the end. God damn it, she called the police. Why would she do that? I got sent back for 134 years because of you. Great, now my girlfriend left me just because I have 137 years in prison. Why couldn't she wait for me? Am I not worth that? Another inmate tells you he would like for you to get to know each other more intimately. That's very nice. Yeah, sounds comforting. Okay, out of prison. Now let's go get that girlfriend of mine. Well, the ex-girlfriend now. It was Joshua Wood. Oh, is that my prison friend? Wait, not my mother. <laughs> Even her name is saying not her. <laughs> I go for the ex. Oh my god. <laughs> she called the police again. <laughs> okay, I'm out again. <laughs> Why is my health at 1%? Can, can I go see a doctor? Will they turn me in? I don't have enough money. All right, you know what? I need to do some crime that'll get me some money. <laughs> I started right next to a dog. This is feckin' horrible. And why is that guy surfing in his own house? I've been sent back to prison for 1,247 years. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna feckin' kill her if it's the last thing I do. Oh my god, she finally died. <laughs> and I got away with it. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> 
to. It's never too late to turn your life around. I'd like to look for a job, please. But first, pay my mom a compliment. You told your mother that you think she's good looking. I imagine she would take you the wrong way. <laughs> All right. Anyone looking for um, a con who has 1,300 years to serve? I can be a babysitter, I'm sure. That's fine. But I don't come cheap. I'm 13 pound an hour. A juggler named Alexander hired you. Perfect. That's a bit of cash in the bank. That's the most money I've ever earned in my life. And only 29 years of age, too. Water slide tester? That sounds fantastic. Apply for that. Yes! <laughs> I got it. I literally went from being in jail, serving over a thousand years, to testing water slides. But that is a good day. You're no longer suffering from depression. This job would cure anything. I am suffering from gout, though. I should probably go see a doctor. My health is so bad. Okay, my gout is fixed. I'm 100% happy. I'm just testing water slides. Time to do some crime. <laughs> He's like, I finally got out of that mess. Anyway, let's create some more crime. I'm gonna adopt a child. God damn it, I got rejected. Can I find love? I need a baby. No, I, a man won't do for this specific thing. No, I, it has to be a woman for the- Yes, Abigail, you. She's not smart, so maybe she'll fall for me. <laughs> That's always my first condition. Baby. No, please. What if I propose to you first? She rejected it. I will kill you. <laughs> no, probably not a good idea right now. That, that comes later. Donate some sperm. I gotta get a kid somehow. Why don't you want my sperm? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, another female and she has loads of money. Ask her on a date. Yes, this is going great. Wait. Did she turn me down? Oh no, she just doesn't like me at all. Okay. <laughs> okay, I gave her a compliment and took her to the movies and now she like loves me. <laughs> Give her five pounds, that'll make her like you. Every time you go to the theater in this game, it makes you watch an ad. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty realistic now that I think about it. I just hate that the ads are so long. They're 30 seconds where you're just staring at this stupid thing. Okay, she absolutely loves me. Let's have a baby. Yes! Yes, she's pregnant. Keep the baby, keep the baby. We'll have another one next year, don't worry. She's pregnant again. Yes, okay. I'm gonna call this one Boomer. Trust me, it'll be funny in 60 years. No vaccinations for my children. I got vaccinated and I turned out awful. <laughs> that must be the reason. Another baby. One more ought to do it. How have the police not caught me yet? <laughs> the third one is this one's name. And I'm gonna adopt the dog. A two-year-old dog by him. They won't give him to me. Why is everyone against criminals who were on death row for a thousand years? <laughs> my mom's still alive. You got some money? 216 pounds. Nice one. Uh, oh, I didn't name this one anything funny. We should abandon her. There we go. She's gone. Although now... <laughs> The third one doesn't really make sense because their name is the third one and it's gonna arouse suspicion because there's only one other So we should probably have another baby. Oh, my wife does not like me anymore because of that. She doesn't want to have a baby Well, you're useless to me then. I'm gonna put a $10,000 bet down in the casino. He's a six. I have 12. Wait, but I have two aces. Yeah, hit me. 21. I've done it. <laughs> I'm a gambling master. You tied. Okay, that is bullshit. Wait, I don't want to go again. I'll stand on 19. Yes, I've won it again. I'm a master gambler. I found my actual profession. I mean, water slide testing does run in my blood. <laughs> I can feel it's my calling, but at the same time, gambling is way more stable, you know, for a family, man. I'm gonna insult my girlfriend. I called her a gas factory. She attacked you with a long sword, but she missed. Jesus Christ. Like, a gas factory isn't really that big of an insult. To... I think I gotta take her out first. Psychopaths attract psychopaths, apparently. Why would I kill a random Amish? I kinda wanna kill a random Amish person, but they'll come later. The girlfriend first. She died. Okay, perfect. Oh, I got Sentence to 3,128 years, though. It's all right. I can break out of anywhere. Oh, God. How do I break out of this? <laughs> oh, I got depression again. This sucks. And hive? Seriously? I can just run for this. Why was my game lagging? Trust me. I know what I'm doing when it comes to escaping from jail. I should have been able to get out. I've been feeling depressed because I'm afraid I'll never get to play with kitties again. Well, listen, dude. You set the last one free. <laughs> I know it was 35 years ago, but those things don't just go away. God damn it. I got tuberculosis. This is how Jim Pickens died last time. I found a sharpened toothbrush taped to the bottom of my bunk. My daughter, the third one, started primary school. <laughs> They're gonna think if they ever read his journal that he was just forgetting her name, but no, that is her name. I died. What the shit? I didn't deserve this. Uh, I kind of did, I guess. Why does it always end with tuberculosis in prison? <laughs> it's as if crime doesn't pay, but that can't be it. It can't. I have no idea how the defense of it's not me didn't work in court. Like, his name is Kevin, not me. All my lawyer would have to do is ask me directly on the stand who killed her. And I'd just go, not me. And the whole jury would laugh and the judge would say, you're free to go in between fits of laughter. He'd wipe away a tear because he's just crying so hard. <sighs> Public defenders, man. All right, well, I am dead. <laughs> I leave behind two beautiful daughters and one abandoned daughter. 
Actually, I think one was was a boy, but it's 2019. We're gonna leave it there. If you want to see any more bit life, do let me know. But I think my days of crime are over. I think I'd actually have to try and live a somewhat normal life because I keep just going to prison and getting tuberculosis. But I really hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I really enjoy playing it. I know it's a simple app, but it's a lot of fun just kind of making up your own story as you go along. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching as always, folks. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.